Hey there, we Life Water of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Horn from here drinking coffee and holding a bottle of water, which for sure I will consume today. Actually, I will consume eight of these today, probably eight of them. Not eight life waters, but eight glasses of water. Why? Because water forms the foundation of our lives. It has a huge impact on our health and our well-being and our fitness and our energy and our physical bodies and beings. Now, I didn't always drink water. When I was younger, I drank, you know, when I was a kid, I've never been a milk drinker. For some reason, dairy does not agree with me. Ice cream does, of course, sort of, but, and cheese, because I'm from Wisconsin. But otherwise, uh, dairy, milk, things, it, it, much to my grandfather's dismay, I he was a uh, county agent, so he believed firmly that milk was the most perfect food on the planet. I don't know why, but he did. And he, it always bothered him that I, even as a kid, did not drink milk. It was never a milk drinker. Still am not. I drank milk when I was pregnant with both my kids, and that was about it. And that was because I made myself drink milk because I believed it was good for me and good for my pregnancies. So water, hydration. Why do we want to talk about this when we're thinking about our physical well-being? Why do we want to think about this? Because every living being on the planet needs water. And the vast majority of us, uh, I'm pretty good about it now, but I I never was before. As a, a young adult, I drank diet pop, coffee, lots of caffeine. And uh, I think I took no-dose back in the day when I was going to college, but uh, now they have Red Bull and energy drinks of all varieties and energy shots and vitamin shots and all kinds of craziness that keep people going and are stocked full of caffeine. Uh, we could talk about caffeine, but not today. We're talking about the importance of water. So uh, a couple of things I want to share. My dad, following my sudden cardiac arrest, taught me a trick about how to drink more water. Now, you'd think I had kidney stones in my 20s, way before my sudden cardiac arrest. And I was really good about drinking water for about a decade or so. And then like everything else, life got busy and in the way, and I got into some worse habits. Usually diet pop and coffee were all I consumed. I, I didn't have a glass of water probably for an entire decade, uh, unless it was to swallow a medication or a vitamin or something. Uh, but for the most part, didn't drink water. And it was to my detriment. It's part of what led up to my sudden cardiac arrest. Although I joke that the formaldehyde from all the diet pop I consumed actually helped to preserve my body and get me through that. I don't think it's new. I don't know if it's true, but I like to joke about it. But my dad taught me this trick that I want to share with you today about how to make sure you're getting enough H2O. And this is a sheet. I recently did this with my mom. My mom is uh, having some health challenges and she was going through radiation and chemo at the same time. And for both of those, it's imperative that she drinks at least eight glasses of water. Now, she's a tiny lady, but she needed to consume at least eight glasses of water. So we got out our Yeti cups, and we made little Post-it note sheets every day. And I put her name and my name, and we put little hatch marks every time we consumed them. We had to both consume at least four of our Yetis full of plain filtered water from the uh, reverse osmosis and refrigerator filtering system to make sure all the stuff that municipalities put in their water is filtered out, like fluoride, things like that, that are super duper bad for humans. But municipalities continue to buy into the lies that it's good for us, which is mind boggling to me. Uh, so this is the trick. My dad worked for 3M for his entire career and, or, you know, corporate career. He had businesses on the side, but, uh, for his career, he worked at 3M, and so he loved Post-it notes and the the application and use of them. So, of course, I love Post-it notes because they are so fun, and they're colorful now and all different shapes and sizes and so much easier to track things. So we would just put one of these on the counter, buy our water glasses every day, and I'm heading down there to see her again soon. We're going to do it again because I don't know that uh, my sisters continue to do it while they're down there with her. And she got really, really sick from the chemo, so we're... we're uh, we're, it's even more important that she drinks the water. Uh, water's important when you're having any kind of treatment. But guess what? It's just important every day to sustain our life. It's what cleans out all our cells. It's what travels and helps everything move throughout our body in and out of our cells. And so it's important that we're making sure we get enough water. Guess what? You can drink too much water. My oldest sister was drinking over two gallons of water a day and got sick because she was actually consuming too much water. So we have to use ourselves as our own science experiment and figure out what is the exact right amount for you. Your doctors will say, 
eight glasses of water a day? Well, is it eight eight ounce glasses? Is it eight other glasses? Are you exercising a lot? You know, my son consumes like bottles and bottles of water because he works out really hard every day to keep his body going. So we have to figure out what's right for us. But since I'm traveling, instead of using post-it notes, I'm taking this little, are you my, you are my sunshine notebook down with me. And for my mom and I, we will do the same thing we did with post-it notes. Unless of course she wants to do the post-it notes and we'll keep those on the counter because they are kind of fun. And it's easy to see it and walk by because they're bright colors and they remind us, oh, there's my water glass. I need to take a sip. Because my dad taught me, if you just put it in a high traffic area and you take a drink every time you walk by, pretty soon the glass is empty. You fill it up again. You put your little hash mark on your paper. And before you know it, it becomes a habit. And it's easy to get enough water, to get the water that you need to hydrate your body. So what's our action item today? Our action item today is number one, share how much water you're drinking. And be honest, if you're not drinking any, like I wasn't for literally probably one or two decades, uh, you know, maybe I had a glass of water a week or something, but it was not any significant amount of plain old H2O. And according to all of my mom's doctors and all the doctors I've had, plain water counts as your total consumption of water. Everything else, like the coffee and the tea and the pop and the energy drinks, that doesn't count toward your daily water allotment. You actually need the water to wash out some of the junk you're getting in the other beverages that you're consuming. So don't fool yourself like I did for decades thinking that, oh, if I drink a pot of coffee and four Diet Cokes today, I'm getting enough water. Because guess what? You're not. Your body has to work harder to get the water it needs out of those things. And it has to deal with getting rid of all the toxins and, and the materials that our body does not like that are in other beverages. So uh, go ahead, have your coffee. I'm having my one to two cups of coffee every day still. Uh, I gave it up for five years because I thought it was bad for me. And then I found out it was good for my blood type. So I went back to coffee uh, pretty much immediately. Again, with everything else, you need to pay attention to how does it make you feel? One cup of coffee in the morning makes me feel great. The second one, sometimes, but sometimes the second one will give me a stomach ache or it'll make me feel worse because it's a little too much. So you have to figure out for yourself what is right for you. I'll say that a lot this year. All right, any questions, hit me up. Of course, in guide two of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page, there's a write-up and someone's story. And I did 10 days yesterday uh, of research. So I can't remember whose story it is today because I'm traveling and I like to work a little bit ahead and actually have this information prepped up for the challenge and for my Super Size Your Business group before I go. Otherwise, with all the craziness that happens when traveling, you never know if you're gonna get to it or not. And that's not an option for me. All right, just like not tracking my water isn't an option for me. And then once it becomes a habit, you can stop tracking it or I stop tracking it. And then when I notice that I'm slipping again, I start tracking it again. Why? Because it's a super simple, easy way to get me to be consistent with my good habits. All right, have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.